So in this video, I will be showing you how to set up the web DAV system on your RSOS with Windows 10. So in here, I have an RSOS system running and you can set up web DAV via the system settings. Go to the network and connections web DAV server and then you can see there is a guideline on how to enable web DAV servers. So um, if you didn't read this, you can read this first and then enable it in the basic settings. So after enabling the web DAV service, for example, you want to mount your user directory onto your Windows desktop, then you can copy this link and then open your Windows File Explorer. Go to your computer and then connect a new network drive. I'm using set here because just for convenience and then paste the link in here. And then if your Windows user account and password is not identical as your RSOS login information, then you have to take this one and then click connect. And then you will get a pop up on how to um, requiring your username and password. So we go back to the RS OS system and then refresh the list. You will see that there's a new um, client pop up in here. So this one, the UID corresponding to this request dialog. So uh, we click allow access. And then now we gain access to the login um, dialog right here. So we get back to the information and then log in with my account and then it will pop up a blank window explorer windows this is normal because we didn't allow it to read or write our system yet so we put it aside and then we refresh the list we will see that two more request clients pop up here so window explorer sometimes use multiple clients or web client to request the uh, web DAV server so we need to allow access those as well so we have three clients right here connected to the RSOS system and then we go back to our file explorer refresh and then you will see your file accessible here for example I can open files and folders on my desktops as well as play back any kind of videos within the system and if you want to unmount it just simply remove all the access and then clear all pending requests and shut it down then your files are gone simple right so um, if you have any question feel free to ask us on our telegram channel or open an issue on github for question type of issues so yeah that's it thank you